Hey, hey team, this is Shelly Hobbs, your fearless team leader of Team Fit to Freedom, and I am coming at you today totally geeking out on this new technology that I am about to show you because I have wanted to do this for about a year and a half now, and I just learned. Thank you to Danielle and our team. She showed me how to record my phone screen from my computer. This is awesome. So I am going to show you today how to expand your network on Instagram. This is the number one challenge I see throughout uh, our network, throughout our team, throughout pretty much every single network marketing business that I had ever been in or people that I mingle with that I'm friends with is how do you find the people? Well, luckily we have social media so this is where it's at, guys. You have to expand your network every day or every week or every month. You have to have a goal. My goal when I got started was to expand it by 500 new people per month. With Instagram, it's super, super easy. You can, you can totally exceed that. Um, I'm going to show you a free method here. You can certainly do paid methods. But I'm going to show you a free method that if you don't have any money right now to get started, but you need to go find the people, this is all you need to do. Now, I have a bare minimum number of 30 new people that I wanna follow per day. It's really easy to find 30 new people. It, once you get the hang of this over about a week, then um, you'll be able to get faster at this. Let me also note that up in the very right-hand corner, it says following. The max you can follow is, I believe, 73 or 7,500. So as you're also following people, you are going to have to take like one day a week and just say, I'm going to go unfollow like 200. That's usually what I would do. I would take a Sunday and then just unfollow 200 and it would take me like 10 minutes. So every day I have a goal where I just say follow 30 new people. Okay, so you can put that as your goal. 30 new people on Instagram per day. Um, you could do this daily or you could just like take one day a week and, you know, 30 times five, whatever your number is, ha just have a number every week of new people that you want to have followed because what's going to happen is they're going to follow you back. And then, so step one is you follow them. Step two is they follow you back. Step three is you uh, like and comment on a few of their photos and you do that over about a week's worth of time and you also right when they follow you back you send them an icebreaker message and um, all of these messages are we, we have them um, for you to be able to either copy and paste or get an idea of what to send you're just reaching out and connecting thanking them for their support and following you you're excited to connect with them looking forward to following each other um, ask them more about, you know, what do you do or where do you live or, you know, what are your hobbies? And just strike up that convo. In the meantime, you're liking and commenting on their photos. And then you have to decide when the right time is to go in and invite them to a certain something you have going on. Maybe you've got a free group coming up and you thought it might be really cool to connect, um, connect further in a free group that you're holding. That's super fun, right? There's no obligation, no cost. Or maybe you think that would be really awesome if you guys could work together in a challenge group that you're looking for super fun, motivated, dedicated, committed women and you look like one. Do you have any health and fitness goals that you're working on? I'd love to be able to work with you. I don't know if you can tell I'm a health and fitness coach and I just really help take women and their bodies and their minds and their health to the next level. Is there anything that you'd like to work on and we can see if this is a great fit for you? Okay, that's a great way to invite. It's super casual. Um, you have to use certain words that just feel low-key, that feel fun, that feel non-threatening. So you can rec go back and rewind this and take those words that I just said. Or maybe there's someone who's like very entrepreneurial. Maybe she is a, um, a real estate agent or a hairstylist or a makeup artist. You can just see that they do things on their own, right? Or maybe it's a working mom who, you know, maybe on her account she's talking about how just tired of working she is, or maybe she's taking pictures of her commute or whatever. And maybe you could say, you know what, we've been chatting or I've been watching your account because hopefully you've been liking or commenting. You just need to take note on people who you want to take note of, okay? You don't have to mark everybody's name down, what, what I do. All right, so the first thing I do is I go to the little magnifying glass 
and I go on to, um, th so this is called the popular page, the search page. It's based on algorithms, based on things that you've liked, and um, I think pages you've liked, accounts you've liked, um, pictures and things you've commented on, I think. I don't know, because sometimes these things are really weird. I'm like, I don't even know what that is. So basically, I'm going to scroll through here, and I'm going to see if there's anything that strikes me. Now, there's a lot of before and after photos here. I know anything with like KG, um, this person is uh, probably British of some sorts, right? Which is kind of cool for us right now. Um, B and she looks like she's in Australia. So um, probably not her, but you know, you can also look for UK people through this strategy that I'm gonna find you. But let's just stick with something simple right now. So um, you can either look through there let, let's take one account. So here is a, a before and after. Um, this is her own account, it looks like. Oh, she happens to be in the UK. I'm just going to go ahead and follow her. I'm going to like this photo. I am going to like her food photo and her kids. And I'm going to like that too. And then I'm also going to come in here and I'm going to click on her likes. How many people like her? Right? So probably. Um, quite a few. I'm going to follow her. Um, I, and again, my goal is 30 people a day. So I'm just going to go find all the people that liked her photo. Hi, Hi baby. And I don't know so much about that. Let's see what else. Okay, he's a guy, he's uh, sure, I'm gonna follow him because he's in the UK. Um, okay, this is awesome, this is a great, oh, um, yeah, she doesn't look like a coach. If someone looks like a coach, I kinda don't. Now, I'm gonna stop here on this girl's account. I like her account, she's got a great number of followers, and now here's something you can do, are you ready? You can go up to the upper right hand corner and do following. Who is she following? And you can also click on followers. You're going down the rabbit hole here, guys. This is all you're doing. So you can see who is she following. So she follows, okay, probably a friend. Great. Um, and, oh, and I'm also going to, you know, like a few of her photos. Like, so be sure that when you follow someone that you're also liking and or um, commenting on a few people's photos. So now we're going to go back. We're back to her original account. Okay, this one looks good to me. That looks fun. She looks cute. Um... So basically, I'm, I'm looking for people, and I'm looking for their people who they follow. And then um, I like to like motivational type photos. So then the other things I like to kind of focus on is, um, so after I kind of find some people that are connected to people that look really cool. I mean, I could fill up my 30 real quick just like this. But then I'm going to give you some other tips and things that I like to do, other accounts that I like to go to. Dogs, food, fitness, fashion, positive things like that. Um, I can't tell whether she is a coach or not, but that's interesting. Five Day Sugar Buster, a May mini challenge. Okay, you know what? Sometimes, what else I do, guys? If I like something, I screenshot it. And sometimes I use that idea. I put it in my ideas folder. And sometimes I'll even, like, screenshot the words. So I can't tell whether she's a Beachbody coach or not, which is actually what it should look like, guys. People should not be able to tell right away that that's who you are and what you're about. Not right away, you know what I mean? Um, let's see, she's in Australia, I'm going to say no. So we were, we went on to who she's following. Now we're going to go on to who's following her. 
So I'm following her. There I am at the very top. Um, okay. Oh, I sometimes I forget to to like certain things. Um, so let's see here. No, I'm not really gonna. I'm not gonna follow her. Um, it's not a very large, like she doesn't have a lot of posts. I want someone who's used to posting. You know why, guys? Also, hello, these people are used to posting. They love posting. You're not ever going to have to um, get over that hurdle with them. I'll tell you what, when I first started working Beachbody, I would get a lot of people who just did not want to post, did not like posting, and I got them all, I found them all on Instagram. I'm sorry, all on Facebook. When I started using Instagram, I never, ever had to worry about that at all because these people love posting all their stuff on Instagram. So, again, now we're on... Um, so, she's a beach body coach. Skip over her. Sometimes it's hard to tell if someone's a coach or not, and if they, if they are, just unfollow them. Um, sign painter. Yeah, she looks really cool, right? I, I like creative people because they have an entrepreneurial spirit about them. They have um, a really solid, um, relaxed, relaxed way about them. Okay, so now we followed people who follow people who are following all the people. So the other thing I like to do is I like to go to like my favorite brands. I want you to think of food. Uh, food um, related accounts, fitness related accounts like Orange Theory, right? Here's a good one, Orange Theory. I wonder if there's an Orange Theory, Arizona. Scottsdale. Well, look at all the people who, had, who are at Orange Theory Fitness. She is a news reporter. Great, let's follow her. She looks fabulous. Love the shoes, right? Then we can also follow other people who um, are following her because they're probably from Arizona. Do you see what I'm getting at here? Keto cooking school, awesome. That looks really great. So you can see I'm following all these people, okay? So I've got a little method to my madness here. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to mention, so where do we go? So Orange Theory Fitness. We can also kind of scroll through here a little bit more and follow some people that are in um, great. Oh my gosh, she's really cute. Oh, like real cute. She's mom. Okay, good stuff. Good, good stuff here. Do you guys see what I'm doing here? I'm just going down the rabbit hole. I'm searching for things that are close to me. So um, fitness, you, you could even do like, I mean, you don't have to do things that are local. But um, let's say you want to do um, Jillian Michaels. There she is. Of course, she has a ton of followers. So what you really want to do on these bigger accounts is come over to a post that has a lot of likes, like this one has 5,125. And now you want to see who has liked the photo. Well, with such a big account like hers, you're probably going to find a lot of people who are um, maybe out of the country as well. So you want to keep your brands pretty U.S. based. Um, okay, so you, you could do fitness or fitness accounts or fitness brands. Okay, you could do Nike, Adidas. Um, those are really, really big. You could do a, a Natalie Jill Fit. Um, you could do um, uh, motivation. So you could do like... Um, motivational um, known people like Tony Robbins or even I like Marie Forleo. Um, 
I like everything she has to offer. All of her trainings are really great. Um, she's got 2,596 people that have liked that photo. So let's go see who has liked it. Because guess what? More than likely, um, there are other people who are like-minded, who are probably business-oriented or entrepreneurial, who are following her. So that's one way to find people. Um, here's a person who's a life coach. They don't have a lot of followers, but I'm going to go ahead and follow. Uh, you know, actually not because I can't see their photo. I don't. I really like to be able to see people. There's a photographer. Okay, she's probably following Marie Forleo for business tips. So just like a few of her things. And um, hey guys, you never know who is in the need for an additional stream of income, who is in the need for wanting to get fit and healthy and just wanting to know where to start. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, so now I'm going to go look at a brand that I really love and I talk about. So I want you to think about what do you love and talk about. If you talk, if you love and talk about Starbucks all the time, you should go look at Starbucks. You could even, um, and you could just see all the people who, um, and you could go follow some of those people. It's going to be probably more global, so maybe you want to keep it local. I like trying to keep things as local as possible. Starbucks, Arizona. See, here you go. Starbucks, Arizona. Starbucks, Arizona. I don't know. Um, so let's go to a brand that I love and talk about, Stitch Fix talk about it a lot. I recommended a lot of people to it. So then what I like to do is I like to find a photo of a piece of fashion or just something that I really like, something that strikes me, but something that's recent, you know, even that, super cute. Um, okay, 53,187 people have viewed that video. So you want to click on the views and then you want to see who has liked it because this is more, it's most, most recent and they have something in common with you already, which is Stitch Fix. So she didn't have any profile photos, but I'm going to follow her anyways. And you are. You're judging a book by its cover here. And you can better believe that people are doing that to you too, guys. So you need to do an account self-evaluation at least once a month. You need to be looking at what is your account about? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Is there another account that you really love that you want to be more like it? Well, then do it. Um, there's a lot of people that don't have... Um, open accounts. I, I do. I try and do the best I can to kind of... She looks pretty cool. I'm going to follow her even though I don't see anything. Um, here's, here's another one. Um, other um, network marketing um, popular people. Okay. So um, I know one. Um, you could do Sarah Robbins. She's pretty well known. Usually it's people who have written books are really great to both follow and, um, and like their photos. Um, and but not just like their photos. It's not really about liking their photos. It's about um, seeing who's following them. Well, probably, probably the people that are following them are um, people that are associated with her business. But still, okay, you can go on to all of her likes, and you could see if there's someone that's. I mean, maybe they're associated with Rodan and Fields, but fine. You know, you can still be friends with them. Maybe they need to lose weight, even though they have really great skin. Maybe you need really great skin, even though you've lost weight. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> You're trading resources here. So, um, you know, just follow people. They're going to follow you back. So what have we already talked about after they follow you back? So, um, and again... Follow the people and then like their photos. So that would be really important to like and even comment on something if you find something really interesting. Um, okay, 
So now you're gonna come back over to your own account. And now, so now you've followed the 30 people and you've written down at least, you know, five to seven names of people who are like, hmm, I really wanna keep paying attention to them. And so now um, you're gonna come over to your followers and um, you're gonna send a message. And you're gonna click on message. Actually, the first thing you should do is find a few photos to like that you think are cute. If you don't like the person that's following you, guess what? Don't send them a message. Okay, if you don't think that they look interesting or someone who you'd wanna work with, uh, just don't send them a message. So there's a message and I could just be like, uh, you wanna get her name. Okay, so you can just say, and usually I have a copy paste script for this, but you can just say, hi, hi Christine. Um, so great to connect here. Um, um, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Um, I provide a lot, a lot of info on um, my passion for helping others in health, fitness, motivation, mindset. Is there anything you are working on right now or working on right now? Um, let me see here. Usually I say, um, or is there anything um, let me see here. I just drew a blank because I'm hearing my kids outside the door making popcorn. Um, but basically, I'm I'm usually like you know thank you for the support. Um, my uh, I provide I provide a lot of info on my passion for helping others in health, fitness, motivation, and mindset. Is there anything you're working on right now, or would love to see featured on my account, right? Or would love to see as featured content ideas on my account. I don't know, something like that. You could always dial it back and just kind of stop it right there. Um, is there anything you're working on right now? So, sorry guys. <laughs> this isn't a scripted video that I'm doing here. Um, 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 looking forward to chatting more. Shelly with a happy face. Because I always do happy face. Let's see here. That's it. And then you can basically copy and paste that and just put it in your script and kind of send that version to everybody. And I then I do that to 30 people a day. Okay, so I've liked 30 people. Or I'm sorry, I've followed 30 people for the day and liked and perhaps commented on their photos. Step two is then I've gone over to send messages to followers, just striking up a convo. I'm just saying thanks for the follow, basically, is what I'm doing. I'm not inviting them to anything. And then lastly, what I'm doing is I'm kind of circling back over the next seven to ten days to invite them to something, whether it's a free group or my challenge group or coaching. My posts back up what I have to offer. And I know that because that's the first thing they're going to do is come over and look at what I'm doing. And um, you just have to put your, um, like, like, like I said, your headhunter hat on. Like when I used to work at Intel, I just put my headhunter hat on and I'd match people to jobs. Where here, you're matching people to the buckets in which you have to offer them, right? Every day, you're like a server. You're, you're, like, you're like a server with like three little teapots. One teapot is a free group, another teapot is a challenge group, and another teapot is a coach. You're trying to see where can you serve people better? Where do they fit in one of those teapots? What type of tea are you gonna pour for them today? And I mean, we, we are kind of prejudging people, but 
Um, like I said earlier, if you see a real estate agent and they seem really entrepreneurial or an artist or just anyone who seems really entrepreneurial, you're automatically thinking, gosh, they might be really cool to work with. Perhaps they want an additional stream of income. Per perhaps they would love um, to to add on to what they're doing or even like get out of what you're doing, you know, or get out of what they're doing. You never know, right? So um, that's it, guys. I really thank you for hanging on for so long. I hope that this was super helpful for you. And um, if it was, you know, give the video a like, give me some comments, tell me what you liked. If you have any questions, comment below the video. And stay tuned for the next super cool geeky training that I'm going to try and figure out that I can do with uh, recording on my phone. Okay, guys, have a glorious day. Bye.